All right, folks, the deck is Tree Reno or Trino Druid. We've also got some late game value in Mutanus the Devourer, as well as Nazoth, God of the Deep, and Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! The Apple Bomb's not great. It's good if it's Secret Mage. Maybe I shouldn't have kept it because I'm already keeping the Loth up, but... We go here into here, get a head on board, have a, you know, uh, make a 3-2 here. If they don't develop anything into it, I might consider drawing a card off of the second one, but I like um, not giving opponent free uh, two drops. Bird is the word. Wait, don't you want to play the zero mana one first? What if you hit the same one? Okay. Then it just too skilled, I guess. Bonk. Good for allowing me to test for uh, counter spell because this is kind of an important spell to hit, right? I mean, we are playing Trino Druid, right? What, am I not going to pick that? Job done. I intend to deceive. I don't think I want to give a Secret Mage mana, do I? Maybe it's worth because I get a low thumb down. Probably explosive here. But that means that this is... Uh, oh, yeah, that's even better. Sure. Flame Master Dragon. The sub. Reno secret? Uh, not necessarily. I've been seeing Potion of Polymorph pop up in uh, regular secret mage, but it certainly could be. They haven't yet played a duplicate, but can't really say for sure still. They must have just a bunch of secrets in hand. Okay. Definitely appears to be Reno. Go ahead and assume it's Reno. Bird. So it's Ice Block Fair Game. It's not Reno anymore, am I right? No, you're wrong. There's still another one. Checkmate. Uh, this is the other Reno. Nope. Wow, okay. Um guess they're making boards. Such a I intend to deceive. I mean that one isn't terribly relevant though. Kinda wanna take the brand off the board, right? I do need to go face, though. Because of the uh, potential fair game there. Oh, 
Okay. Certainly got me there. I intend to deceive. Just here and uh, face. Doom hammer, but what happens if it's ice block? I guess if it's ice block, it's fine though, right? Hero power. Because they lost the Reno. So. They don't have any healing. Yeah. And we just saw the, uh, the fireball, so they shouldn't be able to deal with this. Yep. Uh, I think I'd keep the Reno and the Zeph in case of pirates. Probably... I don't know if I can greed out multiple, uh, Renos. No, oh, it's fun. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of Renos. Watch this not end up being pirates after. <laughs> okay. Feel a little less silly. Hmm. Uh. Turn two is hero power, turn three is question mark, turn four is coin Elise, turn five is this. I could also coin Zeph into backstab here. Or coin hero power. Yeesh. I am gonna die. Will this give me a lightning storm here? I definitely need it. Thank you. Oof. I think I want to use this next turn so that I potentially have a turn. Aha! Go ahead and coin that out. That is a great draw for this situation. Next turn, I can probably just Elise or Teacher's Pet. Uh, what? Are they holding this turn? Okay. Alright, that's Elise. I have the cards I need to win, which is uh, quadruple Reno. <laughs> Someone's got to lead the charge. Oh, that would have been useless anyway. I'm gonna greed this. Hands off. I've got another teacher's pet next turn with a hero power. I just like this game is not going to require all of these. Re well, okay. It's actually a pretty good hit for them. I don't think it's going to be enough, but... Monkey! Oh, God. 
Oh, this is outrageous. It's almost like we're well equipped to beat uh, aggro. Ooh, wait, what? I don't know about that. I would rather have the anchor right now. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What are these top decks? I'm not even going to get a chance to get one Reno down. But I do have... Wait, I can get two Alexstrasas in a single turn. And then also the game's over, so... Oh wait, I can't because I, I always play the dragons after the fact. It's a good setup. Oh, yeah. You got me. We definitely did. Uh, these are tempted to keep against Hunter, but I don't think that they're good enough in the early game for something like an even Hunter. Yeah, I would rather have this into this, and then Billy X is also good as a result. Happy the most fun deck to play in Wild. Fun is uh, subjective. There's no universal answer to that. Depends on what type of decks you like. If I must. Looks like a... Well, some sort of secret hunter. Could be Reno, though. I'm okay with a Ferocious Howl. I hope it's Reno Hunter. Can go Lunar Eclipse into Overgrowth next turn, or just play the Overgrowth. Or is Weapon. Yeah. Looks like it's a, uh, a re the Reno version. Poison Seeds, possibly good. Got a lot of mana to work with, though. Maybe Tonk? Huh? I suppose it could be, yeah. I'm gonna try and get the Zilliax down, but I don't necessarily expect it to make the attacks. Unity. Precision. Snipe is fine. Primitive. That worked out. I'm gonna make a bird here. I do have some regrets, uh, but I've also got poison seeds, so. I'd say Reno Shaman or some combo Shaman with Shudder. Um, every time I've posted a deck with Shudder Walk in the recent past, somebody has told me how toxic of a deck and a card Shudder Walk is, regardless of what the combo I'm going for is, so. I don't think everybody would uh, agree with you on that. I think I bloom the Alex Straza so that I can um, play another Alex Straza next turn. Wait. I do lose the ability to uh, play the dragons. But I think with these dragons, that's just okay. Alright, they hit me for 8. I can play this, then heal to 15, no matter where I am. Or I could put the opponent to 15. I think that's explosive, though. Well, this looks familiar. Could be wandering as well, so I, I don't really feel convinced that the um... I, 
DIY Maligas Druid. I want double Alexstrasza or double Maligas. I don't have the swipe in hand yet, so probably just the Alexstrasza. And I think I want this here. Uh, I just want to be able to play the Gray Bow next turn. Can we somehow discover a Moonfire? Yeah, off of the uh, Nature Studies. Cool. Baited the Reno. Still a reasonable expectation that this is explosive. I'm just going to go face with this. Wandering. Oh, I should have attacked here first. That was almost a big whoopsie. Also, the opponent's dead, though, so... This seems ideal, in hindsight. Glad I played those five sevens. Found ourselves up against a priest. Let's do this. Uh, I need ramp in this matchup. The branching pass is tempting if it's Reno in particular, but I wanna get just, no matter what type of priest it is, I just wanna out value and uh, Set up layers of threats. Explosive procs before the face hit. Yeah, that's what I, I was going to attack Alex into a minion. And then set up for the lethal the following turn if it were explosive. I've got potential for a lot of uh, Nazoths in this matchup. So if it is like a big priest, I think I'm okay. Just because of the number of layers that I can create. If it's Reno, I just want to gain armor. And that means getting down an early Malfurion. How come I'm always playing against Secret Mage? Because it's a very popular deck in the format. I'm just going to get this moving. Literally already taken five times as long as us. I'm, I'm thinking it's a uh, big priest. Maybe it's Dane playing blindfolded again. Could be. Okay. So it turns out it is uh, Reno. So I want to get this down next turn, start tanking up a bunch. I don't want to kill that necessarily, and I want to find the Mutanus and copy that with the uh, Zola. So I don't think that the uh, Nazoth is necessarily my win condition. I want to copy Zola, Branging Paz, and uh, Mutanus with the, uh, or with the Elise if I can. It's not bad, but uh, not really within my game plan at the moment. Uh, I'm going to kill that just... Eh, actually, no, I don't want to play into Psychic Scream. I'm going to go Spooters. I want to force them to scream that into my deck if they want. And then that will give me a uh, card draw. This opponent's victory condition is you falling asleep. Could be. I just want these uh, dead so that they don't they don't get shuffled in. I don't want to. Swipe is good here. No minions. Wait, did they just over? Through all that time, you'd think they would have thought those turns through. I'm just going to start pressing aggro right now, force out the Reno. My hand is full. Uh, unfortunate for me, but I've got uh, a fair amount of aggression in hand, so I might as well play towards that while I have the branching powers and they don't have uh, their combos set up just yet. Okay. Uh, how much damage is this? Eight from hand, so I've got 16 total. So we know they have Reno in hand, otherwise they wouldn't have drawn the Raza, so I don't want to go hard on the uh, the damage route this turn. Stop 
Done. Should be fine. This uh, requires them to play the Reno this turn, which I'm just fine with. Uh, it could also set up a like turns where I have repetitive layers of threats. Like I go Nazoth into Nazoth if they do start clearing these. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted a zero mana hero power as uh, as Druid. Yeah, uh, this probably is a, a soft check for Anduin. So maybe I don't go all the way in here. Definitely play this one. The problem is I know they have Reno. I don't know they have Anduin. So if I just leave this on the board, I'm only dealing 13... 25 on the backswing. They're going to Reno here, right? So I think I have to go in on this. Okay, it's good to know they have another Psychic Scream. And Insight is a good card for me. It's like an Anduin. Um, I might need to branch and pass for armor. Yeah. Maybe that's better. This is going to force out the Reno. I see. Could Zola the low feb to buy myself another turn. Could have also held back the... Uh, or gone with the apple bomb first so that I could... Have the potential to floop the Lothab. I feel like you've said he has to play Reno the three turns in a row. Yeah. But like... I don't know, they cannot play spells here, so... Seems kind of accurate, uh, doesn't it? Or at least in this scenario. Yeah, I think not giving myself the opportunity to um, loop the Lothab was a mistake. Sure. Really need a Mutanus here. Wait, they're overdrawing again. What is going on? Spawn? Do they just have the combo? Can't play that in the pen flinger. Never mind. Or I could just go here and set up for a Zeph lethal. I got screamed. Oh my god. I mean. All of that roping has uh, worked out for them. That was literally like over 10 minutes ago, so I forgot. Hey, loser. It's a really aggravating game. Like, there's no world in which this is a reasonable amount of time for them to take. They're giving me opportunities to win. Unity, precision, perfection. 
And I should have bumped there, but I don't know. I'm just like, I'm tilted out of my mind because this is... The We don't like priest. It's not the fact that it's priest. It's that the opponent is griefing. You don't have to finish it, but I mean, I could very easily win because they're not. They're not taking time to make uh, mobile. Mobile does not explain this. This is they've been doing this since turn one when they didn't have decisions to make or actions to perform. But like they just gave up their all of their resources into into a deck with life gain. Considering just ripping the plague here to uh, get the immediate healing. Death is eternal. My turn is not. Hey, loser. I think uh, Howl is my best draw. Stop trying to justify the opponent. Yeah, chat has this weird thing. Has this weird thing where they'll be like... Generous to opponents to the point of absurdity and then take everything I say as bad faith as possible. It's really the selective interpretation that happens with Twitch chat. I'd like one card that isn't to... Uh... That's pretty good. Just gonna overdraw here. Am I? No, I can get some healing off of this. Potentially. Yeah. Wasn't dead last turn, shouldn't be dead here. Unless they top deck the uh, spawn, but they would have played that first. One day Raffle will draw Reno. I sure hope so. They're purposely playing badly for some odd reason. I don't think it's on purpose. Spawn and four cards, that's uh, 24, we're dead, if they're all playable. I also have a Zilliax in here. Is fireball, which doesn't kill me. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay. I think it is just a uh, swipe here. Go ahead and Ronaldo. I 
think we win from here. I don't even need to uh, bounce the Reno. I just can start shoving the Zoths now. This is still an absolutely aggravating game. Why not just hero power it down? Doesn't really matter. But yes, I could have. Alright, let's eat the spawn, I guess. It's there, so. they don't have it. Honestly, I was just kind of hoping that they had the spawn the whole time and although that would be like the ultimate troll. Yeah. Was that the card that they top decked? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Full board. Are you afraid of the dark? The Reno online. <laughs> We're gonna be rich. Not even close. <laughs> Rope him. We don't need to make that game take any longer than it already did. I already feel like I aged 10 years over the course of that game. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Korbach, Nogglesher, NotoriousHS, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.